Jasmine Pinda is proud of Gino Palazzolo for his huge net worth. The Michigander had no job when he met her for the first time on 90 Day Fiancé. Jasmine Pinda confirmed her 90 Day Fiancé partner Gino Palazzolo's net worth and praised him for his hard work. Jasmine is perhaps the most popular TLC cast member in recent times with the biggest redemption arc. During her launch on 90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 Days Season 5, Jasmine was compared to other gold diggers from the franchise such as Larissa Lima and Anfisa Nava. Gino had admitted to taking care of Jasmine financially and paying for her cosmetic treatments. The fact that Gino met Jasmine on a sugar daddy website didn't help. What made matters worse was Gino being unemployed in the middle of the pandemic after he started dating Jasmine. Gino had graduated with a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering and worked in the sector until May 2020. He was seemingly laid off from his automotive engineer job and had been unemployed for seven months when he went to meet Jasmine on 90 Day Fiancé in Panama. Even though Jasmine knew about Gino's financial limitations, she was disappointed when he gave her a toothbrush as a Christmas gift. She coaxed him into buying $500 worth of clothes for himself. Gino put his foot down and confessed that he didn't want Jasmine to see him as a cash machine. But later on in the season, Gino admitted he did have a lot of investments. I buy and sell my own stock, and my value hit like $650,000 or something like that, Gino had told the 90 Day Fiancé cameras. Back in March, In Touch reported that Gino's net worth is estimated to be around $1.5 million, according to multiple outlets. Gino owes his net worth to his jobs and investments. Meanwhile, Jasmine took to her Instagram to reveal that Gino is a self-made millionaire. She added a screenshot of the article to her IG stories while saying that she's so proud of her man. Jasmine confessed Gino is her tutor when it comes to investing money wisely. She added that her fiancé is still humble, kind, and generous, despite his riches. Baby your goals, Jasmine gushed in her stories. While Gino was unemployed when he was filming 90 Day Fiancé around Christmas time in 2020, he did start working with the automobile company Farisha in Michigan in June 2021. On the show, Gina was worried about Jasmine's rent eating into his retirement savings when she moved into a new apartment. Jasmine has since moved into a newer, more luxurious sea-facing apartment outside of Panama City. But it is unclear if Gino is still paying Jasmine's rent. Jasmine has earlier claimed that she was earning $3,000 from her teaching job. But after being fired, she's taken to creating cameo videos and OnlyFans content. Jasmine could be earning well from her new work, apart from Gino helping her invest it well. Gino was being pressured by his family on 90 Day Fiancé to get Jasmine to sign a prenup in case she were to divorce Gino in the future. Jasmine's K-1 visa has been pre-approved and she could be on her way to the U.S. anytime soon, so it remains to be seen how Gino tackles their money matters once they start planning their wedding reportedly on 90 Day Fiancé Season 10.